Good morning, everyone. Today's the day. I'm so excited that we're going to be taking out this privet. We're going with privet for now. <laughs> if it's not a privet, I'll make sure I put the name at the bottom. I think I said that last time and I didn't, but I've got to go cut some of this off and take it to a nursery to see exactly what it is. But if you look at the base, and we'll make sure we get a good picture of it, you can tell where over the years it's been trimmed back to kind of limit up into a tree. Then we're gonna bring our lemon, our Meyer lemon tree over here. It's gonna receive probably more sun. And most importantly, it's gonna allow my lemon cypress tree to be more of a focal point. You can't really see it right now. So we're gonna start tackling this. It's super early in the morning. I, here we are almost the middle of October and we're just now having 50 degree nights. And when I say 50, I mean 58, 57. We haven't hit the low 50s, but I'll take it. That means when it starts out cooler in the morning, it takes it much longer for it to warm up during the day. Before we start tackling this tree, I wanted to show you, we just did a back patio and backyard tour, and I wanted to show you the bush the salvia lucantha that we're gonna be taking out, just within this short period of time, it's already been blooming. So let me show you that real quick, and then we're gonna start this. Well, here we go. When I showed this just a week ago, week and a half ago, this was not in bloom yet, and you can even tell how tall the artemisia is getting as well. But they're so vibrant, and this will bloom for, well, I would say, all the way through December, and then it's coming out. And we've already started moving the early blue hydrangeas, but let's start tackling that tree. It's been a few days, but the lemon tree is gone. I will show you where we put it in just a few minutes, but I just wanted to show you from this angle how you can see the lemon cypress so much better and you can tell all the new growth that this is pushing right now. I have daffodils over by the lantana. So I think this fall, I'm going to up my bulb game here in the back. More tulips, more daffodils, hopefully some ranunculus as well. What I landed up doing is moving a large portion of iris that I had up front 
back here. Uh, they have flourished so much more since I moved them out of uh, where they were originally were. And again, I think they've been there for at least 25 years, could be more. They were here before we bought the house. So let's go over and see where we put the lemon tree. A few days ago when we took out what I kept calling a privet, <laughs> landed up being a photinia. And those are evergreen and they can get up to about 10 to 12 feet tall. They are zone six to nine. I knew that when we took it out that I would probably have to move the hydrangeas. I, I knew in my head, but it really wasn't until it was gone that it really kind of hung over a large portion of the grass. Of course, shading this area. So this area is gonna get a lot more sun. But I do like that the Fotini is gone and the Meyer lemon tree is here now. It opens this area up. I feel like I feel like I can breathe a little bit more. I know that probably doesn't make sense, but it just seemed like it blocked this whole area. So I am glad that it's gone. And I think this is gonna probably put on more growth here since it's gonna probably get more sun. We're just gonna have to revamp the flower bed down here. But until then, I'm gonna enjoy what it looks like right now. I'm happy that you can see the lights that go all the way across the back wall. Even though I lost a few vital branches and several lemons, I do have some that I'm gonna be able to harvest this year. I do have another little Meyer lemon tree over here in the corner that I don't think I've ever showed you. So I do have a few lemons off that one as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.